Can you just talk about Connor Halliday, what you saw, like in the good and the bad? I thought he played well. thought way ahead of schedule for a guy that's only played a handful of games. I mean, because he doesn't have many snaps under his belt. Thought he played. Uh, thought he played really well. You know, when you consider that, I think he's talented. Um, you know, just uh, the, the, and as far as explosive going downfield, really good at that. Um, just some things that we could have done consistent with uh, consistency wise to move the sticks. But I mean. He's obviously going to pick it up, and he's obviously going to do a really good job with it, you know. And then uh, that, and you know, and then other people too. I mean, uh, uh, well, I mean, shoot, I I did it for two years, but in the media profession, you're trying to find quick, succinct answers so you can generate some theme around a specific item and all the rest. And it, and, and football doesn't really lend itself to that generally. Um, the uh, you know because the performance of the O line relates to the performance of the quarterback relates to the performance of the receivers and so it goes. Uh, I think our O line's getting a little better, which I think helped. I think that uh, uh, had a couple receivers make some big plays, which I think was good. I thought that we shouldn't shouldn't have had any three and outs, which continues to be a problem. Um, I thought that. Uh, uh, you know, just uh, the the whole consistency. We we're really good at going downfield, but then there's intermediate stuff and stuff underneath when downfield's not perfect that you know we need to utilize and, and get into. And also, as coaches, uh, get his uh, focus and his attention directed there. Um, and then we flew around good, a little out of control. So you know, some of this stuff were. You know, step too aggressive. Whether it's uh, you end up overextended and you hold somebody, or you, you know, you get there a step late and you hit somebody, or you have bad technique when you hit them. You know. How do you feel your receivers, particularly Marquise and Gabe, are progressing in the offense? Uh, Gabe real well. I think Marquise can play better. <coughs> the drops that he's had. And I think Isaiah Myers. I think like. Uh, um, I think the steadiest guy we've had at receivers been Isaiah Myers. What does Marquise need to work on as a blocking issue? Is it focus. He needs to focus. You know. Is that how you, you explain the drops that he's had? It's not a technique thing or anything like that. Is it just? I mean, I think that obviously he can he can catch. Everybody knows he can catch, and uh, you know, and uh, they weren't difficult ones. You know, I mean, uh, occasionally guys drop balls. You know, and so he'll definitely catch them. How did you think? Uh, Gunnar Eklund played in his, his first start and being a freshman out there and all that. Played real real well and I think one of the reasons he did play well is because uh, he didn't allow his mind to be cluttered, you know. He wasn't pumped full of, you know, do this, do that, do the other thing. He did a good job just doing his job, focusing on his job. Uh, I felt like uh, Coach McGuire could tell you better. I felt like uh, of our team, he probably had the second best performance out there. So, which is impressive when you consider, you know, he doesn't have a lot of snaps and went out there and played pretty good and made it happen. Who had the best? Hmm? Who had the best? I think Bosch did, but uh, McGuire could tell you more specifically. I thought over the all they did some decent things, but the the two that stick in my head are Bosch and Eklund, and of course Eklund. Drew a certain amount of attention since you know first time out there, and I, you know I, I'm sure that he had a little anxiety. And his coaches, we were curious how it was going to go. I mean, could, is he going to go out there and make it look like he didn't practice? And he did, you know. So For the second week in a row, it kind of seemed like you played an opponent that you had a chance to close out early, and a few plays kind of kept him in it. Uh, how do you fix that going forward to be the type of team that can that can put a team away early? Ironically, I thought we had there were three of them. You know, I think all three. Uh, you, you know, just uh, like I say, we're explosive, but we're not consistent. We're uh, we're more consistent than we were several weeks ago. Uh, we're explosive, uh, and I would apply that to defense too. I mean, defense. Uh, you know, we walk away from each game, and there will be like uh, seven plays. And if you eliminate seven plays, you knock off half or two thirds of their offense. You know. 
Well, which means that you're, you're, you're doing pretty good other than seven plays. We have to have the ability to get those seven plays. And I think offensively, there's a certain amount of that too, but it's more subtle. <clears throat> On offense, you know, everybody remembers, you know, there's this big pass or there's this deep one. You know, the, the, the seven on offense tend to be, you know, playing with good technique on certain snaps so we don't get penalties or, or you know, it'd be like uh, not even necessarily a third down deal, but just some routine, oh, here's this guy underneath, okay, this is your second read. He's right here. Throw it to him. He's going to get, you know, that, that type of thing. That, and it does a couple things. It keeps the defense coming and going and having to account for the entire field. The other thing, there's just a consistency to it, you know, that uh, keeps the sticks moving. And, and that's kind of what's most debilitating. I mean, um, you know, one of the things that I've been involved with in the past that uh, I probably take uh, as much pride in as anything is, is uh, leading the nation in first downs. Well, right now we're not, you know, we're not doing that. You know, we're not. But, you know, you want to control something offensively, leading first downs. Now, I mean, it breaks down to a point, like, well, that last game was a little like that. I mean, you know, if you score in short drives and big plays, you're not going to give the points back. I mean, the other, the, the opposing team would be happy to let you give the points back. But, uh, um, but uh, you know, but so, so you, you know, you keep the points. But, yeah, we're, we're not, uh, we don't have that consistency right now where we're just, we keep the ball, uh, they don't get it back, and we move the sticks, you know, so. The Bobby Ratliff's lined up a couple times in the, did you consider it a tight end spot where he's set back from the offensive yeah. line in real tight? Yeah, I mean, I guess I do because everybody else does. It's still Bobby Ratliff, you know, but I mean, I mean, and we put him in the slot too, but yeah, I guess, it, it tight set. What do you like about it in there? You know, he's kind of a big body. He's a good blocker. He's been pretty versatile about doing some things. Uh, I see him as having a bigger role as time goes on. Coach Dave. Body, body type wise, you know, he's big enough to do ball. He's quick enough to do one and big enough to do the other. Yeah. Dale Buchanan got uh, flagged late in the game again for a late hit. Uh, do you expect for him to hear from the Pac 12 at all? I, I don't think he should. He he uh, he wasn't late. He was high. He wasn't late. So, but I do think he was too high, and I think it was bad technique. Coach, when it comes to your offense, who's the quarterback right now that you see is really fits your scheme? Who's the guy? You... Well, you're gonna have to stay tuned and watch very closely. And 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 uh, and I, I, the anticipation is uh, killing everybody, including yeah. me. But the. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to have a good week of practice and see where that all ends up. What things are you looking for in practice though? Is it more a matter of health or just who looks good this week? Or? The biggest thing is just improvement, you know. We need, we need to go out there and improve, get better, you know, uh, you know, move the team and stuff like that. But the, the, you know, I, I think uh, uh, it's on an individual level, uh, I've been impressed with this on an individual level. Just everybody <clears throat> kind of uh, blending together as a team. That's kind of what we battle a little bit. I think that, you know, and then, uh, and I think some of it is, as coaches, we got to get them mature quicker. You know, I mean, we're, we're, we're a young group. If you, if you look at that roster and, and uh, you know, how many, uh, how many freshmen we got playing, how many redshirt freshmen, sophomores, there's quite a few. But you know, the thing is, they're talented guys and we're excited about their progress and they're improving every day. And somebody in here asked about Gabe Marks. I think he's doing a pretty good job. And uh, But you know, that guy, uh, you know, uh, if, if anybody asked him, he went to the prom last year, you know, so. How do you feel about the play of your secondary so far this season? Looks like a lot of guys are rotating in and out there. Uh, is that a concern going forward? Yeah, I think we're I think we're inconsistent. I think we uh, have too many guys rotating. I think uh, <clears throat> you know it's almost like uh, they're playing keep away a little bit as far as dominating the position. I think they need to dominate the position. I think sometimes those secondary kids have. If they believed they were half as good as they are, they'd be really good, you know. Um, I think they need to 
to be a little more confident out there, and I think they need to have a little more burning desire to seize the position. I think you got to understand that occasionally you're going to get beat, but um, you know, have the uh, uh, you know, just sort of have the presence, the, the presence, the arrogance, the charisma to say, hey, I'm the guy to go in there and fix it. I got beat the last play, but I'm the guy that should be out there to whipping this play. And I think <clears throat> we need a little of that uh, presence out there out of those guys and the, and the ones that jump on board and uh, hold on to it and don't turn it loose. I mean, they're the ones we'd like to keep out there and play the whole time. But, um, uh, yeah, well, they, they, uh, I think they got to quit being so timid. I mean, they're 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 obviously better than they give themselves credit for. And uh, when they get out there and they get the chance to play, there's a little too much turning it down. And about as fast as they turn it down, they complain they're not out there. Well, have the toughness to get the job and hang on to it. You know. Based on some recent incidents at USC and Washington, the Pac-12 is discussing um, mandatory injury reports. If everyone in the conference is doing that, would you be comfortable with that, or would you think that was fair to? Uh, I would. I would still that? refuse. I would still be very elusive on it. It would also violate the HIPAA law, which would be interesting to me if the Pac-10 could uh, could get that law overturned. Um, no, it's nobody's business. And plus, I mean, obviously, if some kid doesn't want to, you to know, why should you? And and um, um, no, I still would. I, I still wouldn't tell. Questions on the line for Coach? And Coach, what's your response to Ricky Dalton's status? He's been playing a lot and seems like he kind of vanished from the game. Like I can't hear this. That's about Ricky Dalton. That just, uh, 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 Repeat well, the but, question? And then you can tell me or something. Sir, uh, Ricky Dalton's been seen quite a bit of time that seemed like he disappeared from the game last, last week. Uh, in, in your recent goal? Uh, certainly does some good things, and we've got a variety of other players, and uh, Galvin's doing a tremendous job for us. Any other questions on the line for Coach? In the room? Right, Bob Withers here. Uh, any, any update on Smith? Do you expect to have him a practice? Yeah, I think he will practice this week. He's got some, uh, some personal issues he's tending to, and... Uh, and uh, we anxiously await his arrival, you know, whenever he uh, gets everything worked out. In the room? Yeah, I got one more. Uh, this is from a student, so here's a question for you. Uh, who's your favorite pirate and why? Favorite pirate and why? I've been asked that a lot, as you might imagine. Uh, let me think. Well, I, I, I'll tell you, there's two really good ones, uh, and, uh, and there's several. Uh, Bartholomew Roberts is probably number one. Uh, very efficient guy. Had a whole fleet. Uh, uh, kind of the you know one of the most focused. Wasn't really just a, more of a businessman really than a. Uh, uh, I mean, it, all into all the pirate mischief that all of them are certainly. But and, and had a cool flag besides. And then because um, uh, they were big into um, hourglasses. As in, hey, here, see this, your time's up, you know, that type of deal. So, you know, if you had a, a, a person with a skeleton in an hourglass, I mean, that's, the, that, that, that's uh, the angel of death. Hey, pal, your time's up, you know. So that was kind of what his flag was. But anyway, he, he was uh, uh, had a fleet, a uh, great uh, businessman, very, very, very smart guy, uh, fairly well educated, um, is the most... Uh, Fun, of course, is Blackbeard because, I mean, he's a very big guy. would put candle uh, wicks in his beard and light it on fire to have this whole, uh, you know, he had flames and he had smoke going around his head and he looked like the devil, of course. And then, uh, and then of course, he kidnapped the entire city of Charleston, which, um, you know, you got to figure from a pirate standpoint, that'd be pretty fun. And um, uh, so, I mean, very exciting one. Then, of course, uh, Henry Morgan... Uh, went from being a pirate to not being a pirate to hunting down pirates to being a pirate again to hunting down pirates again to being governor of Jamaica. He has an interesting story, but he had a, a, 
it, to me it always seemed he had a funny way of betraying his men, and so I think his story is real fascinating, but I, th I don't think he's a guy to be trusted necessarily. But of course he's a pirate, so that goes with the territory. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, it's good. Uh, just uh, looking ahead to Colorado, what have you seen from them on film so far? Uh, fast, uh, the fast uh, group, talented, um, physical. I mean, you know, they've got all these recruiting classes stacked up that everybody read about, and th those are accurate. You know, I mean, <clears throat> tall guys, long arms, fast, physical, and uh, and right now not playing together as well as they could. You know, um, and uh, they've got a lot of young guys out there too. You know, they're out there playing with a bunch of young guys. Uh, you know, with regard to our team, I, I think we're similar teams from the standpoint uh, we don't quite have a tent over our circus right now, you know, and I think that um, uh, they definitely have some resources. I, I do think they're going to emerge and, and explode at some point because they are very talented. Um, but, uh, you know, right now they're sort of, yeah, I mean, they're working to play together. And I think you got a bunch of strangers that haven't been side by side. Not everybody knows their role, so they're battling that a little bit. And you talked about injury report, but can you just tell us how healthy is Jeff Tool at this point? He's ridiculously healthy. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, he's one of those guys that Tony the Tiger would be proud of to be in a, in a commercial and uh, have him eat cereal and everything. You know what I mean? Because uh, I do think he'd represent uh, the whole thing well. Would you say he's at full strength right now in practice? Well, I mean, you're going to have to be the judge of that, but uh, um, shoot, we're always at full strength. Uh, you know, what, whatever you can do is what you can do, and that's full strength. So, anyway. <laughs>